Welcome to the fastest stop in town today on the Sechus Rosh Hashanah, Daf Yotesh. We are going to begin on the very top of Yotesh Modal. To remind ourselves, we were discussing about a story how there was on the third day of Tishrei a great celebration because there was a time in which the Shtaros had to have Hashem's name in it. And the problem was that after those loans were paid off, people were discarding them in the garbage, which became obviously problematic because Hashem's name was on it. And therefore, from the time in which they no longer had to do it, they instituted a um, a celebration. And the question is that if that's true, as the Gemara said, if you really hold that Megillus Tainus was completely removed, so then how is it possible, as the last line of the Gemara says in the previous Talmud, then why would they add more? They're going to add more. They would remove. They remove the whole thing according to that shita. Gemara says no. It's almost much based on the the time of the Beis Hamikdash stood, so obviously during that time the Megillus, uh, uh, Megillus uh, Tainus did exist. Okay. There's another problem with the third of Talmuds as we continue the Yud Tesmanal. The table that have the Yom Shneringbo Gedal Ben Achikam. We know that Gedal Ben Achikam was assassinated uh, on that day, and it's a fast day. It says Rashi, E Beis Hamikdash Havi Kayim Bulav Hachi Havi Yom Tov. It's already considered to be a, a, a celebration, so how does some Gedalia fit into all this? So The idea is to answer the day before, that at least it will cause that you will not be able to fast on the day before because of this Celebration of the story of the star it says Rashi Aser Esmoil Gam who betainus can I'm reading lekam lekame the hayom emeilak subim b'megillah heim lefnehem lachreim asurim that the days before and after are Aser so therefore if it was just gedalim and achikam then we would not have the reason to um, Aser the tainus on the second day so at least this celebration of the staros on the third allows for the second day. To be instituted that there's no tainesim. So shalafad of nami typically to have a yom shalach rosh chodesh. If it's the second of Tishrei, that's the second day after rosh chodesh, or if you want to say even better, rosh hashanah. So the Gemara says rosh chodesh deraisa deraisa lo boy chizuk. When it comes to a din deraisa like rosh chodesh, um, which is a din deraisa, so the din is that it does not need chizuk, and therefore we're not going to say the days before or after are also going to be asked. It's only by by the rabbanon. Is that true? Is When it comes to these days that are in there, suin bin lefnei lefnei lachreim, it's also the days before and after. Shabbos of the yom and tovim heim asurim lefnei lachreim mutarim. Obviously, Shabbos you're not allowed to do uh, work. You're also not allowed to fast. Um, so, but the days before and afterwards you're allowed to. So again, that makes a difference between the two. And my hefresh bein zel is that what is the difference? Hello, the retire bein the retire strich and chizik. When it comes to Torah, it doesn't need chizik, and therefore in Shabbos, the days before or after is okay to fast. Hello, the retire seifrim, the retire seven strich and chizik. And these days are uh, are uh, again the retire seifrim, and they do not need uh, chizik. Okay. Um, so look at Rashi. The rice of low boy, low boy chizuk, the asul of the macharav. Oh, you may make gilus tainus the rabbanim the shvich and chizuk. Kehich the lacy lasanus beyond of atzmo, because it's not such a significant day in the. It's not a Torah um, day. So therefore, if a person is allowed to do to fast the day before, he may end up fasting on the day itself. That's why we're more strict. The table that have the yom shlefne yom shneirik bo gedalim and achikam. Why don't we say it's keneged? Um, the day which is um, before Gedal ben Achikam. So that should be enough of a reason as well. So Amar Rav Ashi, Gedal ben Achikam, Divi Kabbalah, Hiv Divi Kabbalah, Divi Kabbalah, Kedivi Torah Damu. So for this alone, uh, the second day of Tishrei wouldn't be Asabatinus except for the fact that of the story of the of the Shtaros. Fine. Uh, stop there for one second. Let's see this question. Question number TA3. TA3. Madua base Tishri Asubatinus. So he says only because of the story of the Staros. Madua in one member Shem the Havi Akharoshkodesh, Madahavi Lifni, Yom Shinari Mugadam Nahikam, 
this man should be to make the Bizman Habayashi Yomtiv in that time when it was a Yomtiv. So it says, uh, again, uh, because of the story of the of Hashem's name not having to be written on Staros. And Rosh Chodesh, we're not going to say the day afterwards is, there's any Isser because it's a Deraisa, and Deraisa will boy Chizik. So therefore, one could fast the day afterwards. Also, the day of Sh- Gedalia, uh, 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 the day in which uh, Gedalia was killed, to Diri Kabbalah, which is Kid Deraisa. Okay. Mesa Rab Toivi Bar Masa, the Esr Mutamnia Bay, on the 28th day of it, Rashi says, of other, it's written in the Megillus Tainus, Asas Beshort the Tav Dali Hudoi. It was great news for the Jewish people. Dolo the Idun Moraisa says Rashi Shulu Yisrochu and not take Atzim in Torah. They have to stop from learning Torah. She goes to Malchus Gzeir Shul Yisachs in Torah. There was a Gzeir that were allowed to learn. Shul Yimul Es Benayim, not to do Bris Mil. She Chal Shabbosis, and you had to desecrate the Shabbos. So Mel, so Yehuda ben Shemu of Chaver of Halchu ben Natu Eitza mimatronisa Achas. So that they went to this uh, woman, Shekog Gedoli Roimah Mitzuyin. That's why all these uh, people would frequent her. Amalhem, and she said to them, Bo, you should go, Vaha Vaha Ginu Belayla, and you should protest at night. Halchu Vehef Ginu Belayla. So Amru Ishamayim Ishamayim Luachichem Adachnu. If in the heavens or we not uh, your brothers will bene av echad anachnu or we not from the same father will bene emachas anachnu from the same mother manish tenenu miko uma bulashin why are you treating us differently than the other nations shiatim goitim lini gazeres kashais because they spoke in this way somehow they were able to invoke um, through the, the means of a kadosh baruch hu and ubitlam and this gazer was removed. And therefore they made a yomtiv on this day, the 28th day of the month of, of Adar, which is pretty close to Rosh Chodesh. Now, if it's true that the the whole Megillus Tainus is bottle, so kamaisa bottle, achrein nasim oisifin. So why would they add another one? If it was bottle, they're not going to add more. Maybe this is the time when the Beit Hamikdash was already still standing, like we answered before, by the case of the Shtarot on the third of Tishrei. Now, Yehuda ben Shemua Talmidu Shel Reb Meir. That can't be because the story talks about someone by the name of Yehuda ben Shemua, and he was the student of Reb Meir. Reb Meir Basar Hachi and we know that Reb Meir um, came after this. So therefore, certainly the student came afterwards. It must be uh, that um, Reb Meir came to in time the Chorban. Says Rashi, Reb Meir Basar Chorban Havi, time of Doros, many generations. The Habi Meir Rabbi Yochanan ben Zaki Chor Habayis. In time of Rabbi Yochanan Zaka is when the Beis Mitzvah was destroyed. Rabbi Lezer Talmido Haya, and Rabbi Lezer was his student, and Rabbi Kiva Talmud Shal Rabbi Lezer, and Rabbi Kiva was the student of Rabbi Lezer, as we see in Masechtas Sanhedrin. Rabbi Meir Talmud Shal Rabbi Kiva, as we see in Masechtas Erevin. So therefore, again, we see this um, numerous generations of Rabbi the Talmud, Rabbi Yochanan Zakai, then Rabbi Lezer, then Rabbi Kiva, and then only afterwards Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Meir was the Red was a student of Rabbi Akiva. So this all took place, obviously, after, and then Rabbi Meir's student, as we just said, is Rabbi Yehuda ben Shemua. So certainly it was after the time of the Mitzvah. The Tanan, as we learned, as we're going to see, clearly in this next story, that he was a student of, of Rabbi Meir. How do we see this? It says as follows. Let's say you have this golden vessel, Shenikvu and it has a hole in it. The heat of osaychan of our you end up fixing it by putting uh, this lead uh, in it um, to fill up the hole. So in that case, Reb Shemig Malil Yehuda ben Shemua Matame Mishum Rameir. So he said in the name of Rameir that it is Tame. So what does that mean? So Rashi says Loimer Shechazu to Masim Yishana that it. Retracts and goes back to its original status of being tame. The apple p shul nagu shuv betuma, even though it never touched tuma, says Rashi. The apple p shein kli zechuchas chayzum tumasa niyshana. We see in the first paragraph of Sefer Shabbos that when it comes to glass, we say that it does not go back to its original tuma. Shul gazu chazeres tuma yishana el bekli matachis. The only time we make this gazera is when it comes to metal. The the issue is because 
a person will maybe not make the proper hole, or he'll, again, maybe a geyser, like a, a ben yomo, as the Gemara Vinayana talks about. So, harinami hoyel va'avar mamido kikli machos damo. Since it's a maimid, that's what's holding it together, so therefore that's considered to be like metal. According to the shita, you go after the maimid, that which is like the plug and holding together, and therefore that's considered like metal, and therefore the din is that it goes back to its original tumma. Okay, but again, the point of all this is we see the Yehuvim Shemua, he said Mishimra Meir, as we continue to Yod Tassim Abay. Chachamim disagree and says, Tahawai, the Kurkli Zechuchas, hey. Says Rashi, because it's glass in essence, and we don't go Basar Hamada. But the point is, again, clearly, this story took place after the Horvin, so you can't say it was Bazman Shabbos Mikdashkayim. So where it says Tanoi, the truth is the Machlokas Tanoi, whether or not we hold that the Megillus Tainus was bottle. The sign Hayomem Elak Suba Megillus Tainus Bain. So what does that mean? It says Bain Bazman Shabbos Mikdashkayim, Bain Shizman Bazman Shein Bais Mikdashkayim. Asur in Dibra Meir. So Meir is of the opinion that even after the Bais Mikdash, we were not Mavatel uh, Megillus Tainus. The reason why it, play, it takes place in times of Beis Hamikdash is because it's also to do fast because it was a time of joy. Because there's an element of availus, of course, the fact that we don't have the Beis Hamikdash, and therefore we can't celebrate so much. So what's the din? The halacha is as follows. Very simple. The hilchas of bottle. The halacha is it's completely bottle everything in it. The hilchas of low bottle. One second. Kasha hilchas of hilchas of. One says yes, one says no. So kasha. Kan b'chanak b'porim, kan b'shar yome. One we're talking about chanak and porim, as we know, which is part of Megillus Tainus. We said because there's mitzvahs connected to it, pursuing nisa. So if those, we say the din is that it's not bottle. However, when it comes to everything else. It is bottle, which is question five. The imul halacha bottle megillus tainus a little little bottle. So it's all bottle except for again the holidays of Hanukkah and Purim. I'll, next next uh, piece. So the Mishnah said al el one of the times we send out the messengers for Kiddush Hakodesh is the month of el then they Rosh Hashanah because we want to prepare someone to know when Rosh Hashanah is on the first of Tishrei. The al Tishrei need to come as muados. The question is, doesn't seem to be any need at that point. Kivan de nafkuhu el once you already send them out during the month of Elul, at Tishri Lamuhu, why do you have to send them out the next month? The Chitema Dilma Ibrul Elul, maybe it's a possibility because we don't know what the status of Elul will will lead. Will Elul be 30 days or 29 days? And therefore, we're not going to know, again, uh, when the holidays fall. We always find that Elul is not a Mu'ubr, it's, it's, a, it's a Chaser, it's 29 days. So we already know when Tishrei is going to be, Rosh Chodesh Tishrei, or Rosh Hashanah is going to be, and therefore we're going to know when all the holidays are going to be afterwards, so you shouldn't need to have to send anyone. You're right. If we we find that, uh, we don't find, then you don't need it. However, if it's needed, then we're, then it's Mabr. So, again, so look, look in Rashi. Uh, we may need to do it. Imishum Yarka, Imishum Maitaz. We'll see on tomorrow's daf. There's a possibility for people who have died or for vegetation, for growth, that sometimes we will actually do this. So, I have a Makalkil Rosh Hashanah. The problem is, you're going to be Makalkil Rosh Hashanah, says Rashi. Nimsa Shua Sua, B'nei Hagoyla Kahalacha, Imavr El. If you're Ma'avr El, um, for these reasons, people are going to make a mistake and not know the right day. Right? It says, Mutab, it's better to calcul Rosh Hashanah, let Rosh Hashanah uh, be a little bit confusing for some people, then all the other holidays not to be, not to, to get messed up. So the whole idea is even if there is some question about Rosh Hashanah itself, at least the other holidays will be will be celebrated properly. So the ilu nisabra hashana yoytin afal shemi. So we said that in addition that if it's an extra month, extra day, so then we'll also make an other um, other shemi. If, if in this case it's nisabra shana rather, <clears throat> no, there's other rishons, other shemi. So in that case we are going to send someone out also uh, for other shemi. Because on Purim, 
we celebrate, discussed in the Sefer Megillah, which we'll get to soon, um, whether or not we celebrate Adarish and Adarshani, we Paskin because we want to connect um, a nace to another nace, a gula to another gula, if you will, a Purim to Pesach, and therefore to Adarshani. So, Lokatani, uh, uh, Lokatani Masnisen. So, our, this is something um, our Mishnah doesn't mention, the Loi Karebi. The sign Rebbe, Oymer Imus Sabra Hashana, Yoytin Afal Adarshani, Mipnea Purim. Now, for some reason, our mission doesn't mention that. So, Lema Bahakim Ifli, the Mars of Rekom Mitzvah Sano Hagas Vashani, all the Mitzvahs that apply in the second of Adar No Hagas Varisha apply in the first. The Mars of Rekom Mitzvah No Hagas Vashani, in No Hagas Varisha. So, what does that mean? In other words, if you already celebrated Purim, so the question is, now all of a sudden you make another other, so is it necessary for a person to have to make, uh, to celebrate Purim again on Adar Shani after it's already been decided? So it's a, a fascinating point. So apparently this is the Machlok, it says Rashi, Nuhagaz Barishon, Biyasiri Khamasim Purim Shah Barishon. The question is maybe you've already fulfilled your obligation by the fact that you celebrated it on the first one, even though in the Sabra and this other Shani, so you don't have any other you don't have really have any holidays on the other Shani because you already celebrated everything the first other. Or you say no, you still have to celebrate and therefore that's the reason why we have to send out messengers. Here's the law. The cooling element is all this machine and no operation. The Hakha be Iber Shanak Mithli. The whole question is, is there a possibility of Iber Shana? The Sanya Kama Iber Shana, how uh, long is Iber Shana? It says Rashi may other Harishon. How long is the first other? So one opinion says Lamin Yoimer, Shall we will Oimer Khaidish? Now Khaidish here is translated twenty nine days. So the question is, is other twenty nine thirty nine days? So Maishno Lamid the Yade Khaidish Nami Yade. So why is it 30? Because it's known to 29 also. So Amr Papa, Man Diyaymer Chaydesh, Ratzah Chaydesh, Ratzah Shleishim. So one who says the word Chaydesh, it doesn't mean necessarily it's always 29, sometimes it's 29, and sometimes it's 30. So therefore this is what it means. Other Rishon, if it's always 30 days, you wouldn't need to send out messengers. And therefore the point is that it's a possibility it can be 29, uh, or 30 days. Question 6. So in the Havamina, if the Mitzvah is Purim, the Havamina is Purim, so in the Havamina is Machlokis, if the Mitzvah is Purim, the Havamina is Purim, and therefore will you already fulfill the obligation, or another possibility is in other Rishon, the Ola Mole, O Pamim Chaser. If it's always Mole, then you don't have to send out messengers, because they already know what day it is. If sometimes it's Chaser, then you have to send out messengers. Heyed, maybe Yeshua, and later Mishim, Kahal, Kadish, and Rishalayim. So he testified it, I'll, I'll testify it, I'll shnei adarim, she makdish yim oisim biyom ibureyim, that when it comes to the two others, which are makdish on the days of 30 of the previous month, well, neymer de chaserim abdinam, melein lo abdinam. So l'chare, that means that they're, uh, they're chaser and not full. L'fuki midurayim nachmen, midurayim shav nachmen bar chisna. Heyed rav simim mishim chagoy zechar malachi al shnei adarim, uh, it could be anyone. It could be too full, too half, one or the other. That's how they were noyed. There was always one other as a molly, one's a chaser. Until we know uh, when Rosh Chodesh was established in its time. Actually, the other, which is close to Nisan, is always 29 days. It says there's too much for Mechal Shabbos. Al Nisan Dal Tishrei. Now, Iyam Rei Pishlom is Zimnin Mali, Zimnin Mali, Zimnin Chaser, Mishim Hachi Mechal Inam. Then it makes sense. Well, if, in fact, it's all, it's sometimes this and sometimes that, so therefore we need to publicize and to tell the people what the right day is, and therefore that's why Mechal. However, as we continue on Chafa Madalaf, El Iyam Red Olam Chaser, my Mechal, and what's the purpose of having to be Mechal? You already know for sure what day it is in Nisan. That even though you already know, there's still a mitzvah, it says Rashi, Al Piedim, Dechsev, Hachodesh Azalachem, Rosh Chadashim, Kazay, Re'ei, Vakadish. You actually should see it and then be Makadish. And therefore, because of that, it doesn't matter, even if you did know, there's still an Indian to, to, to teach.
Let's look at this uh, Taisus over here. Dear Ramachal values Kalkul Kuhu and Moados in the middle. This Mishum de Zimnan Doi Ro Edim Halavano Biyom Shleishim. Sometimes they will not see the moon on the 30th day. The Ain Mekadshin Ad Lamed Ad Yoim Lamed Alf. And it's only on the third day. Mishum de Mitzvah Kadish Al Piriya. Okay. Skipping down towards his Masisa Lo Karebi. The Im Taim Lo Tan Didan. Our Tana Kivandu and Nafti Al Other Shani. Since he doesn't say they went out on the other shani, hech yodu shnis abra hashana. How do we know uh, whether or not to be over the shana? If you skip to the very end, the yishloim rekivand shluchim yoytzim al nisan the mil yoydin kishegir shchaydish the in shluchim yoytzim im kein hashana mubaris. Okay, I am Tysus. So let's uh, see another question. Adkan.